Welcome to the Retail Management Hero Point of Sale System, also known as POS. POS is extremely easy to use, but at the same time it provides a lot of powerful features for managing your store's customers and transactions. In this video, I will introduce you to looking up items in POS. Looking up items in POS is something you will do many times throughout the day. There are many reasons why you will look up items in POS. For example, you might need to look up an item that isn't scanning, or a customer might ask you if your store has a particular item in stock. Sometimes a customer will ask you to look up an item so they can learn the price. Thankfully, it's very easy to look up items in POS. Let's start by looking at how you can look up an item so you can add it to a transaction. Most of the time you can simply scan items to add them to a transaction. However, what can you do if an item doesn't scan? The first thing you should try is to enter the item's lookup code into the lookup field on the transaction screen. The 10 ounce pecan seed cake isn't scanning, so you enter the lookup code. In this case, the item lookup code is the UPC code from the product packaging. If you don't know the item's lookup code, or the lookup code that you entered isn't working, you can also enter the item's name, alias, description, department, or category. This item's lookup code isn't working, so you are automatically redirected to the item lookup screen. Try entering the item's name, which is Pecan Seed Cake. Ah, there it is. We mentioned alias earlier. An alias, in case you were wondering, is an alternative name for an item. For example, one hummingbird feeder sold by Birdstore is commonly known as Big Red to customers and staff. Birdstore has added this alias for the item to make it easier to look up. In the middle of the transaction, the customer asks if Birdstore has any Big Red feeders in stock and how much they cost. You open the item lookup screen and enter the Big Red alias. You tell the customer there are 100 available in stock and the current price is $17.99. The customer decides they don't want to buy one today, so you click Cancel to go back to the transaction screen. Some stores use aliases for items and some do not. Ask your training supervisor or manager whether your store uses aliases. You can also look for items by entering a department or category. Let's try Seed. As you can see, there are 64 items that have seed as a department or category. Large stores can have hundreds of items in a particular department or category, which can make it difficult to look up items using just the department or category. You don't have time to scroll through 64 items to find the pecan seed cake, so you will need to reduce the number of search results. You can do this by entering a combination of name, alias, description, department, or category. Try entering the size of the item, which is 10 ounces, and seed, which is used as both a department and category at Bird Store. That's better, only two items. You can also search for items by entering a partial name, alias, description, department, or category. For example, maybe you need to quickly look up an item that is used to control mosquitoes in ponds. You can speed up the search for items by entering part of the word, such as MOS and pressing enter to see the matching items. As you can see, the results contain items for both moss and mosquito control because they have MOS in their name. Let's stop and review how to look up an item to add it to a transaction. If an item isn't scanning, you can look up the item by entering the item's unique lookup code, the item's name, alias, or description, the item's department or category, any combination of name, alias, description, department, or category, or a partial name, alias, description, department, or category. You have added the pecan seed cake and mosquito control to the transaction. You can see the current item price. However, you can't see whether this is the regular price or a sale price. Stores have the option to show additional details for items on the transaction screen. If the Line Items Detail option is enabled for your register, you can click the arrow beside an item to see the number of items the store has available for sale, the current or sale price, whether the item is on sale, and the regular price. If this option is not enabled for your register, you will not be able to look up this item information. 
ask your training supervisor or manager whether this option is enabled for your register. Stores also have the option to add a custom button to the custom buttons pane or a taskpad that opens the item price checker dialog. If a price checker custom button has been enabled for your register, you can use it to check an item's price without adding the item to a transaction. The dialog shows the regular price and, if the item is currently on sale, it will also show the sale price and the sale start and end date. If this custom button is not enabled for your register, you will not be able to use the item price checker dialog. Ask your training supervisor or manager whether this option is enabled for your register. And that's it. As you've seen, it's really easy to look up items in POS. Practice looking up different items and you will become an expert in no time. Thank you for watching this video demonstration of POS.